Law enforcement is working around the clock to try to find the boyfriend of Gabby Petito. A federal arrest warrant was just issued for Brian Laundrie. So far, there's been no sign of him in a swampy nature preserve in Florida. Fox 10's Ellen McNamara is live in the studio with the latest. Ellen. And guys, here are those charging documents for Brian Laundrie from the FBI. Laundrie is currently charged with a federal crime because the FBI says that he used a debit card and PIN numbers that were not his in Wyoming following the death of Gabby Petito. He allegedly bought items that totaled $1,000 or more. Dive teams are trying to find him right now in Florida, but some are wondering if this all may be just a wild goose chase. Day five of the search in the swampy Florida nature preserve, but the hunt for Gabby Petito's boyfriend, Brian Laundrie, turning up nothing so far. Today, ATVs and high water vehicles return to navigate the gator and snake infested waters. A local tour guide, though, says it is possible that someone could survive in the area for an extended period of time. If they know what they're doing, it's easy. Um, you know, right now there's plenty of water, there's plenty of fish to eat. Chris and Roberta Laundry have told authorities their son drove their Ford Mustang to the preserve before going missing. Some wonder if it's a bogus story. Still, the vehicle was found there, and Northport police released that vehicle to the family today, days after it was towed away during an FBI raid. Do you have anything to say to Gabby to Peter's family? Laundry had been a person of interest until today, but now he's a wanted man, and more evidence is emerging about the couple's reportedly strained relationship. A New Orleans couple tells Fox they observed Brian getting into an explosive argument with wait staff at a Wyoming restaurant last month before Gabby went missing. A criminal defense attorney says these accounts are crucial for piecing together the case. If there's ever going to be any prosecutions in this case, it's going to depend on the answers that law enforcement gets from interviewing third parties to see if there's anybody else who may have helped perpetrate any crimes or conceal any crimes. Okay, so back to these charging documents. Law enforcement has not officially said who the debit card belonged to that Laundry was using in Wyoming. The FBI, though, says if anyone knows anything about where he may be, contact them immediately. Ellen McNamara, Fox 10 News.